pandaka ubari kwa wana waka pula wa shitolo saka ndo pandaka njiliwa kwa mkwa mta kwa shupa kwa mkwa na shoto kwa mkwa na shoto saka jokita wakwa tituwa ikuwa kwa mkwa wari wani kwa mkwa wa sika iti kwa mkwa wa kwa shikwa wa tuis saka kwa mkwa wa kwa mkwa wa kwa mkwa Thank you. Gawa rambo yin woyin wakanda. Sang wek tira yin aswa yin tira wakanda. So ene na yiko. Di nitsa kore yin zimwa shi. Di no gara chako wak shi manu ma yin kwa di tere. Di di pa no woyin yin wana wakwa anu wada yin yin. Wada tanga shi lu mbi. Apa so shi ak ma di tere duwa ni ak bu mwana tata na wakwa. Woka stro ti ni yin pa bu pa wun pa na yin pa na wakwa di. Ta kenda di ni yin kenda puna shi lu mbi ka ba shi lu wakwa. As ka la shi lu yin yin puti pa nga pa shi lu yin wakwa ma na yin ara. Sara kwa hivyo papa potrashe ya mari Tusi na kwati supra tisa mwana maria tae chaji kwa hospital na kwa 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 Nah, sekarang aku cuma main dengan tidak tahu wakawan kami. Di papan apa tak ada tu pun pemain itu pun. Aspal asal tengah tu barang macam mana tu pun kami. Kau yang dah umur dah umur dah sudah dah tahu kau itu. Alam kau tengah itu dia muka angkat satu jam skor. Betul agak tu zikir aku skor apa tu mama maksa. Saya jadi jadi ni mak orang yang kau ni lezat. Oh, jadi ciri 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 jaga sendiri lah pun ada. Eh, cari cari tu yang jadi. Pura kau itu cari tu yang jadi. Hmm, tu sana kau nak pasang ini tu cari cuma pura ini tu yang jadi. Hmm. My name is Sister Yamari from Pelaji. I'm the sister in charge of Family Child Health Department, which caters for the pediatrics. So this program for Enya is really helping us. Uh, to start with, in short tenure, it is a condition which affects uh, children and adults where there is a weakening of uh, muscles in the umbilicus in the inguinal region or on the scrotum. So that weakening of muscles will cause the escape of bowels from the abdomen to that area. So uh, they will be moving, constant moving to that space and going back, moving to that space and going back. And this can result in uh, vomiting and not tolerating food. And sometimes those bowels can strangulate and it will be an emergency which need correction agently. So for our pediatrics, usually they say if the child is born with anemia, it's expected to resolve at two years. That's why we are seeing our age groups which we are targeting is from two to twelve. Besides that, uh, the under tools are also being attended to, especially when it's causing those symptoms which I mentioned that it will be an emergency when the baby presents with that. We are also attending to the under two if it's emergency. So when it, the, the, the anemia does not resolve at two years, it will need surgical intervention. During this camp, we are attending to 20 children. Yes, uh, we cancelled three because they had chest infections, so they would not be put to sleep in the theatre. They were not fit for, for theatre. Then one absconded. The mother just absconded and she said she was traveling. But otherwise, we are today, we are, ten, we are operating 20 children. These children, like uh, we started last month from the previous camp, which happened sometime. We started last month, and last month we attended to, we managed to get out of 10 children because communication was, was uh, not done in time. So we managed to get out of 10 children. 
Then for this month, we also managed to get hold of about 25, and some of them did not manage to turn up. Those children are the ones who are attended to uh, during our day-to-day -day activities, and uh, if they are diagnosed with hernia, we put them on a waiting list and we get their contact numbers. So when the team communicates that they are coming for the camp, we phone the, the patients to, to come for screening. Doctor <laughs> Tikas <laughs> Nishimba <laughs> 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 <laughs>